Welcome to our PBA channel. Today we are going to talk about a very mysterious spice called nutmeg. Uh, I was uh, for a couple of months now I have been experimenting with Ayurveda herbs and formulas on myself and seeing the side effects, the, the advantages and disadvantages of taking them. And one a couple of weeks ago, I read an article in New York Times about the Spice Islands. Spice Islands are one of the uh, uh, islands of the uh, coast of Indonesia in the Pacific Ocean. And uh, they have incredible history. So um, why starting with the history? First question, why was nutmeg so expensive in medieval times and also in 16th, 17th, even 18th century. Do you know that for one nutmeg, so we are talking about this spice, you could buy entire ship in 18th century. Why? Okay, so uh, there are a lot of historical phenomena that were parallel to the consumption and the price of uh, nutmeg. First of all, in Europe we had uh, bubonic plague in medieval times and uh, one third of Europe almost di died. And uh, the, the horrors were described by many uh, contemporary writers and someone uh, concocted the idea that with nutmeg you will survive bubonic plague. So uh, this was one of the reasons why the price was so high. But okay, but it continued being so high three, uh, in 16th, 17th and 18th century. Yes, it's a very, it has a beautiful, this herb has a beautiful smell very often used in eau de cologne, particularly for men. And uh, it has a very good taste. It can be used for roasting with uh, different uh, marinades for ma meat, uh, or also, of course, we know it in uh, gingerbread, right? And in other uh, sweets. But again, why is nutmeg so much more expensive than cloves? Cloves are, for me, magical. Uh, their antibacterial properties are so strong that they could, uh, in the beginning of disease, they could be almost uh, the same or equivalent to antibiotic. Yet, the price of cloves and nutmeg has, throughout the centuries, been very different. So, I, um, I read uh, the article in New York Times when it talks about the, the competition between the British Empire and the, uh, the Dutch. The Dutch were the first one that discovered the islands, I think in the 15th century, and then they fought with British. And at one po point, uh, British convinced uh, the, uh, the local uh, chieftains uh, to turn and to pledge allegiance to the uh, royal family of, of the Great Britain. And as a consequence, the Dutch came and beheaded everyone. So the uh, contemporary, uh, the inhabitants of the islands are actually not the locals, but from the, the nearby islands. And uh, yes, and from that little island, this incredible spice traveled to India, of course, and then from India to the entire world. So, uh, one of the other properties that are not very often mentioned of nutmeg are hallucinogenic. And this is thanks to myristicin. Myristicin is an essential oil that is uh, also uh, in the nutmeg. And if you take the right amount, uh, you can feel uh, uh, relax. It is very strong anti-anxiety and antidepressant. Uh, you, it uh, improves your cognitive skills, so it is also anti-Alzheimer, and it decreases fatigue and stress. So in folk medicine, this was uh, nutmeg was also used as uh, antidepressant, believe it or not. And uh, but. Uh, traveling throughout India very often you get uh, nutmeg tea or you drink chai masala 
my favorite, and then uh, you have no effects of hallucinogenics. So why? Well, you need to have the right amount and remember that nutmeg is very uh, sensitive to temperature. So you don't cook or you don't bake um, nutmeg to have full effect. So you need to probably between one and two depending on the uh, on your uh, absorption rates. Uh, you also need a grater. I use a parmesan grater. Maybe you have a better equipment. You, uh, you have to <coughs> grind it freshly. This is another condition for it to work. And then uh, my favorite is to serve it with hot milk and with jaggery. Uh, when I did the experimentation on myself, uh, in the first three hours I had almost no effect. Later, I, I felt relaxed and I wanted to laugh. Then uh, the, the motion really slowed down, yet I was very aware of the environment, particularly I was aware of the smell and the light. So, um, so this was a nice experience, but there are also negative effects. For me, it was a totally dry mouth. So I drank during that evening probably one to two liters of water, warm water. And then also next day, I was not able to urinate everything that I accumulated. So uh, based on the, the symptoms that I uh, went through, I wouldn't recommend this to people who have problems with kidneys or who have problems with, uh, who have hypertension. Uh, but I would definitely recommend uh, to people who want to relax and uh, want to feel totally on the seventh cloud. So thank you, Natmek, and uh, all the best to you experiment and enjoy everything that is natural. Another important thing, uh, please make sure that uh, the, the nutmeg comes from uh, preferably ecological or sustainable uh, plantations. Okay, take care, enjoy Ayurveda, subscribe to our channel, and now this is the last thing. In March, we are going to have incredible interviews with a British uh, herbal star who creates uh, many of the, uh, the tea, herbal teas drunk all over the world. And maybe we are also going to get someone from South Africa, hopefully. So uh, all the best, uh, subscribe and enjoy the wonderful, cabinet of spices that can really affect you in many different ways, unimaginable ways. Take care. Bye.